Hi y'all, this is Larry at Deep South Texas, and today we're going to make cheese bread. So we'll be using our homemade cheddar cheese for this recipe. And I'm also using all-purpose flour. Typically, I would use um, bread flour, but I'm out. <laughs> so this may happen to many, many of you as well, so this will be an experiment to see how well the all-purpose flour works in making bread. Let's get started. And here are the ingredients. Two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. One and a quarter cups of water. One teaspoon of instant dry yeast. A teaspoon and a half of kosher salt and then our homemade cheddar cheese we're going to grate up one cup so to get this started we're going to add uh, our yeast to the water let it hydrate a little bit and then mix it in And we'll add the salt to the flour and mix that in as well. And while we're waiting on that uh, yeast to get ready, let's uh, grate up some of our cheddar cheese. So we're going to get uh, a cup of grated cheddar cheese and we're using the uh, largest grate on this box grater to get that. Okay, now let's put our uh, flour and salt mixture into a mixing bowl and then we're going to add in the cheese a little bit at a time get it mixed up there uh, this is homemade cheese there is no anti clumping ingredients in this so we're going to use the flour to try to uh, keep the cheese from clumping up we're just going to mix it in with the flour here So let's add our yeast and water into our mixture of flour, cheese, and salt. And then get, mix, get this mixed together. Well, it's all mixed up. Now we're going to cover this with plastic wrap and let it set for 20 minutes. Now we're going to do a, a series of stretch and folds. We're going to do this four times over the next hour. And that's all there is to it. So this is our last uh, stretch and fold. The dough is feeling a lot better. The cheese is really <laughs> is really standing out in it. So now we'll uh, cover it back up with the plastic film and we'll let it set for one hour to rise. It's been an hour later and the dough has risen. Time to take it out and form it into a loaf.
And we uh, get it formed into a rectangular shape. And then we're going to roll it up. to uh, fold the ends under. Put that on our baking tray. And let that rise for another hour. We'll cover it with the plastic wrap again. So the oven has been preheated to 430 degrees Fahrenheit and the bread has risen. We're going to uh, Make some slits in the top of the loaf here. I think it helps it rise a little bit better the way you want it. Going to brush it with a little water. And then we're going to put it in the oven. Okay, into the oven it goes. And I have about a cup of water I'm going to pour into a heavy pan. To create some steam. And uh, that bread should be ready to come out in about 30 minutes. Well, it's been 30 minutes. Let's take this bread out of the oven. Oh, it's looking good and smelling better. Let's get a close-up. And there it is. Out of the oven. And it looks great and it smells great. We'll uh, let this rest for about 30 minutes to cool off. And then we'll give it a try. Well, it's cooled off a little. Probably not enough. But it's time to cut it open and give it a try. Well, it looks pretty good inside. I don't think uh, using that all-purpose purpose flour hurt, hurt a bit. Let's butter a piece and taste it. All right. Mm. 
that cheddar cheese really comes through. Well, the cheese bread was a success. I encourage you to give this a try. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time.